Good evening everyone and welcome to Eat Smoke Drink. In the past you've seen me do reviews on Ardbegs and today I'm going to do a, a slightly special Ardbeg review. It's the Ardbeg Grooves. Ardbeg Grooves is a um, it's an Ardbeg Day release but there are two releases that you actually can get. One is a standard worldwide release and the other one is a committee bottling. Committee bottling. I don't know what it means, but I think when you join Ardbeg committee, you get a committee bottling, which is pretty cool. And so I managed to get a community bottling. The only difference between the two in theory is one has been watered down to 46% and the other one is 51.6%. The Ardbeg grew a little background on it. Apparently what they did was they got some French, French um, red wine barrels and when it arrived before they rinsed it, they retoasted and recharred the barrel. So you still have the deep caramel slightly burnt red wine that was in there and then they put the spirit in there which is quite interesting in itself actually because I thought oh that's actually quite a good idea because you get the residue the heavy residue that goes into the spirit but anyway what I want to do today is not necessarily because you can still get the Ardbeg grooves around not necessarily is the Ardbeg grooves worth getting not just that but the difference between the two why do they water it down and why didn't they and the difference between the two so let's let's get sniffing Cool. Straight from the get-go, I mean the colour is quite dark, you see, like, look at that. Compared to the Ardbeg drum, the colour is actually quite dark. From the recharred barrels and the red wine influence, that's what you get. You get that kind of dark amber colour. So the Ardbeg drum is very light, very very light. It almost looks like pineapple slash apple juice. Let's nose it. I'm not going to add water to this because in theory they've already added water for us. Water, no water. So let's just nose it and see what happens. Mmm, quintessential Ardbeg. Bandage glue, heavy peat, heavy smoke. I'm getting some fruitiness in there. Caramel, slightly buttery, almost like um. A green apple juice, not the cloudy apple juice, but a green apple juice. Quite like it, but it's very heavy on the peat. Let's try. Mm. More sweetness on the committee bottling. More earth, soil, wet soil. Leaf litter, definitely some peat. Actually, to be honest, you can't deny the peat on both. The, the, the nose or the peat and the smoke is the same on both. What I'm getting from the community bottling is more earthiness. And what I'm getting from the watered down is more fruitiness. So interesting that, interesting that with the 46% with the, um, more fruitiness, with the 51.6% community bottling, more earthy soiliness. Minerality, salinity, I can definitely get that. So let's get tasting. This is the 46% um, normal bottling. Mm. Oh, very well rounded whiskey, very delicious. I mean, I'm getting like an incense a strange incense kind of flavor I'm getting a slight I mean I don't know if it's my imagination because I've just mentioned to you that recharge the barrel but I'm definitely getting like a charred flavor like a burnt sugar um, you know when you when you bake a cake and you get the edges of the cake I mean I prefer the middle of the cake personally but when you get the edges of the cake and you get that burnt cake crust I'm getting some of that in this mmm mmm I'm getting a slight hint of orange marmalade. I like it. A slight hint of orange marmalade. The peat is very strong. A burnt rubber, a fresh rubber, campfire. But not too, like a, a more a roaring campfire. Not too much smoke, but a, you know, like a campfire with a healthy fire on it. Just a hint of, a hint of burning smoke, uh, burning wood there. I'm not getting the apple that I was smelling before. A slight saltiness, not much earthiness.
Soot, slight floral, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of dark chocolate there. Just a little bit of dark chocolate there. Mm, very pleasant, very pleasant dram. Now let's try it. Um, seemingly, I mean 51.6%. I don't know if it's cast strength, but it's definitely higher in ABV. So let's just say that Definitely, the salinity is coming through. Mm. Oh wow. The difference is worlds apart, worlds apart. I mean, yes you do get the more alcohol burn, but the sweetness is stronger on the committee bottling. Oh, the 5.6% gives you so much more sweetness the peat lingers a lot more on the back of the throat and nose with the 51 percent mm. very meaty very savory not much fruitiness no orange marmalade here really not much i'm getting a strong salinity i'm getting um mm. in the back end i'm getting some strawberry jam I think that's, I'm associating that with the sweetness, but the peat smoke, the fire is very, very, is, is very strong with a comedy bottling. Burnt rubber. I'm getting that burnt rubber now, that, that rubber in the back of my throat, the bandage glue. Very delicious. Mm. Earthiness. Definitely more earthy. The committee bottling is much more soily, much more leafy, organic matter, salty. Actually, I mean, the conclusion that I've got here is they're both very similar in spirit and flavor, but this is just more extenuated. Everything's just much more extenuated with this one, with a few more kind of bonus flavors, like the earthiness and the leaf litter. Would I pick which one's better? I think I like the roughness and I like the rustic nature of the committee bottling. I'll pick the committee bottling with this one because it's just much more rugged and it's much more Ardbeg. You know, Ardbeg to me is not something that you want to drink um, and go, oh, this is smooth. No, 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 it's not about being smooth. It's about a little bit of challenge, but a little bit of thinking as well. I definitely think the distillery bottling has much more grunt and meat to it. It's rustic, it's got character, it's complex, it's oily, good mouthfeel. I would definitely recommend, if you can find a community bottling, go and ask your liquor stores, go and ask your embassies around the place to see if they can get you one. Sometimes they can, and if they can, get that. Because if you water it down, it just becomes this anyway. So then you have that option. It'll be a bit more expensive. It's about 40 to 50% more expensive. The, the, the committee bottling is usually about Look, I mean, compared to the two, it's about $60 or $50 more. But you do get more alcohol as well, which means you can water it down and have that option. With the non-comedy bottling, it's still very good. It's actually very pleasant. I mean, to me, they're both very, very good whiskey. So I'm not going to take sides, really. I prefer this, but if someone was to give me this, I'd still be very happy. So it's up to you to decide. I think find this but this is definitely worth buying it's got lots of character and it's it's very different to the other um our big day releases in terms of um, in terms of pairings with uh in terms of pairings with cigars i would say there are such robust cigar uh, robust whiskies that you need a robust cigar i'd say something oily something dark to pair it up or if you wanted something funny enough if you wanted something to mellow out the whiskey then get something like a Connecticut, something that will give you a quintessential tobacco flavor just to mellow them out. Even, dare I say it, a Cuban, some people like to go, I don't want to waste a Cuban or not tasting it. Well, actually you would taste it. Um, I think a Cuban would be great with these because the Cuban will be um, a balancing aspect to these heavy, heavy drams. The Art Big drams are so heavy, I actually think maybe for these particular ones, a Cuban cigar will be quite good. The sweetness in there will complement the Cuban and the, the medium to light and, uh, nature of a Cuban will complement the heavy nature of this dram. Thank you for joining me. 
and please hit subscribe have you tried these before have you tried them side by side like this let me know your thoughts and please um, hit the bell so you can see my new videos that pop up and I want to thank um, Sammy an owner of a bar here in Auckland um, she, he owns GGX Flamingo on K Road he has kindly sponsored me to do a side by side today thank you very much and uh, see you again till next time and for me they're both good. Uh, can't fit them. <laughs>